Hi, this is Katerina Martikas. I'm here at Coyman Galleries in Ottawa. I've been with the Coyman Galleries for uh, almost 35 years. Very happy to say that. And I'm known for my uh, colorful art that mainly depict youth, children, activities, and a lot of our Northern uh, Canadian lifestyle, such as hockey, skiing, kids just catching a bus. I started painting when I was very young and drawing as a youngster, and I knew it was something that I wanted to pursue in my life, but it's not an easy thing, but somehow I, I was very lucky uh, 37 years ago just to show a painting in a gallery in Ottawa, which sold as the uh, gallerist was looking at it. It was a, a painting of uh, children walking through the woods, which that painting was also used, the image, as the first UNICEF uh, card to come from an Ottawa artist, and that was the beginning of my art career. It was like a mistake, or I don't know how to call it, serendipity. So through the last 35 years, um, as you can see in my art, I, I do paint a lot of children. Um, I love kids. I do have uh, two children, and I have two daughters, and I have five grandchildren. I think children are our future. We were all children, and when people buy my art, they say, oh, that reminds me of me when I was young, or I don't have any photos of myself. So it's a very um, sentimental thing as well with my art. I have people writing me letters. One person's house had caught on fire, and he sent me a picture, and he said, would you please recreate my house in this painting? I lost uh, this house and even the dog. So it has a sentimental value as well. So my art is about joy, happiness, youth, and uh, life and color. So when the first thing you will see about my art is color, then you will notice the children. Now I come from Greece, which is a very colorful country. So all my colors, I think, originally came from Greece because everything, you even, you'll even see a, a Canadian winter scene and I have a lot of purple mountains, just reminds me of my beautiful home country in Greece, which I visit often. I use acrylics because they do dry fast and I had to ship out the art and the oils were just taking too long to dry. So as, I love oil, but acrylics work very well for me too because I use it very thickly. And a lot of people say, oh, is that acrylics or oil? They can't even tell because I do love the, uh, the oil very much. I, I actually, uh, every day I say thank you. Every morning I get up and I say, I can't believe I'm doing this because it's every day. And I work from, let's say normally, seven and I can go till six. And then if, if I have a show, like I'm having one with Coimans, I go right uh, through to midnight and I get up at four many times but I love it. It's a passion, it's a drive, and if I can teach that to other people and children, because they say, oh, you're so lucky, you're self-employed. I go, no, you have to be disciplined. I have a lot of discipline, a lot of passion, and um, just, it's wonderful. Uh, and the only downside to being an artist for me is getting messy and, and dirty and having my hands full of paint and most of my house is destroyed, my cars, my purses, my wallets. People are afraid to come near me. It just takes forever to get the paint off you. That's the only thing I don't like about painting is that it is a messy process and my studio is messy and then my husband cleans it up. That's the only thing I can say I don't like about art. There's nothing else. Otherwise, it's a perfect profession. Another thing that I like about my art is that it gives back to our community and our society. Since 1993 with the first UNICEF card, which many uh, UNICEF um, cards were made of my art, there must have been at least 18, and I knew then that they were, it was giving back to children and uh, societies and countries that didn't have as much. But in Canada, I have also given rights for the Canadian Lung Association, Juvenile Diabetes Association, and uh, the last big project that uh, we did was here with Coyman Galleries, when uh, in Ottawa, uh, Corporal Nathan Cirillo was shot. Uh, I was painting that day and I did a little painting of a boy saluting his father as I heard he had a little son and that was shown to the newspaper by one of my daughters and they put that at the front cover of the newspaper and Coyman Galleries had the foresight to say why don't we just make a print out of this and the money that was raised from the um, sale of the uh, limited editions went to Nathan Cirillo's son Marcus. And that was a wonderful feeling. And City of Ottawa got involved. And we gave the little boy with Coyman Gallery $75,000. And the last things I'm doing, many, many places use my art as um, donations and fundraising. I'm doing now with uh, one of my daughters, uh, breast cancer research or clinical trials. So we've been doing calendars called the Calendar of Hope. The hospital sells it, Ottawa Hospital, sold right across Canada, United States. And the money for that goes to uh, clinical trial research, which benefits all of us in the end, because without that, really, 
we won't have it all. So I feel that art can be so useful in so many ways and at the same time fulfill my, my passion and my need to be an artist. I feel very blessed.